What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the most overpowered, bro-controlling Loki we've ever built, and that you could ever build in War Robots. The new needle harpoon weapon combined with a Kestrel drone that will passively always, even when you're in stealth, add a death mark to the enemy more and more and more until there are four effects with 100% damage ticking on them. And then you just drop your stealth with a new legendary, with a legendary pilot that keeps you in stealth for a little longer, and you just up obliterate the enemy, leaving them zero chance to fight back. Ladies and gents, this is the Loki in question, Needle Mark 3 on it, with the Kestrel drone, as you can see here, close range death mark. That effect gives 25% extra damage and it can stack up to four times. Shouldn't be that way, but it can. And then we have Chester, uh, dude, as a pilot, leaving him in stealth a little longer. Um, every time you activate stealth and when you come out of it you also heal a little bit and that paired with the on kill healing that the kestrel drone gives you paired with the gray damage heal back you also get just makes this an, a ridiculous setup absolutely insane all right i've just prevented my own self heal because i face shifted if i hadn't face shifted i would have he uh, healed back all my health here um, and I think that was a mistake, but yeah, let's see how I can fight against this uh, claw, jaw, talon, um, uh, uh, what is it, uh, revenant right there in front of us. Uh, with a death mark ticking four times, every shot we do is 100% uh, more damage, and also the nuclear amplifier is also at 95% stacks now, or 95 stacks, which is another, what, 75% damage. So we're doing all, almost three times the amount of damage that we should be doing, with our three light weapons now and we can do this um, when we come out of stealth. Of course the uh, death mark effects from the Kestrel drone take a long time for all four of them to come into effect uh, but it works and if you just take the time in your stealth and just apply that effect all the time you'll find that you have an easy time taking down the enemy afterwards. I mean just look at this three shots and the scorpion is down to last and pretty much although some for some very weird reason he was uh, three shots immune to my damage, but then he comes out and he, exactly this happens. So, running away from this guy, he's also using his ability there, and uh, with 100 meters range, he actually manages to hit me. Um, did not expect that uh, that far hit there to take place, but um, yeah, look at the damage he's taking. Unfortunately though, with his stealth now coming in that he shouldn't have, he gets to kill me. Um, but um, yeah, that was three kills. Um, not so easy, but let's check, take a look at the ones that you have seen in the intro, right? So this guy, he's gonna get himself a shield, and that means only I can damage damage him because the harpoon weapons go right through energy shields, which is a really good meta thing right now because there are so many Typhons and Mars robots around with their yellow shields, so many battleship yellow shields all over the place, and so this is a way of getting through them and being the only one who does that. In free for all, that means kills that other people can't get. And here we are, I already apply two death marks on him. Pew, here comes a third death mark, 75% damage boost, and he is gone immediately. And my Kestrel drone just does not stop. She keeps going and pew, and pew, and pew, death mark, death mark, death mark. Every time. And look how little chance even the Capri has here against the shield from my battleship, against the shield from uh, the needle weapon itself, and of course the fact that he's slowed and everything. My goodness, the, the this is a really, really insane setup. And ladies and gents, if you enjoy this content, you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing now. Uh, we are doing War Robots content here every or every every day or every second day, and um, bringing you up to date. Also, along with giveaways. So. Um, I'm sure that the next one is, if it's not already going, that it will be coming very soon, so stay tuned on that as well. Alright, so here, this guy's uh, quadro death marked. Uh, we have maximum damage rolling from the I'm amplifier, and I'm doing a, a bit of a crazy move here. Because I see that the enemy titan is coming in to try and steal my kill, right? Obviously, I don't want this to happen in free fall, so what do I do? I go close, activate my battleship to get an extra shield, stand between him and the enemy, so that during that time when the kill happens, there's a shield of mine going up, protecting the enemy from the other enemy shooting from behind. Therefore, not allowing him to score that kill. Now, I was trying to beat this guy here um, in, in this battle, but I'm not sure if I can do it, um, because... Uh, 
yeah, it turns out that Titan, even though he's not really using the highest DPS weapons, um, still has so much more HP and everything against me here. Trying to do my very best, but uh, he face shifts or transcended snow. What's the thing called on the Indra Titan? Through my uh, last stand, so I wasn't even able to make use of that against him. And then he comes around the corner. He has that lasso on me, which dealt, dealt some damage. And overall, it's quite a nightmare. And I found this very often that when you uh, play this setup with the Loki, you can have kills and fun as long as there are no Titans on the battlefield. When there are Titans in there, you're done. That's it. You will not go get a single more kill. Titans will get all the kills against other Titans and other robots. You cannot kill a Titan at all. It's impossible to kill a Titan. They're simply way too powerful for that. Um, and, uh, and so as soon as the Titans drop, uh, it's over. The gameplay is over for you. You can isolate, however. You can always obviously run away from Titans. And you can find those players that are not Titans and kill them. Assassinate them. And the Loki is quite an assassin here. Uh, and since I am first place, which everybody knows, they're gonna face focus me hard. Uh, and uh, I, I make use of my stealth to try and get away from that, not get blasted. Uh, the electric lasso enemy three. How many kills are you gonna get with that electro lasso? Pretty lucky you, you are there, my friend. Uh, because I was just about to steal that kill and the electro lasso kicks in and drops him. Um, yeah, speaking about pretty lucky timing. Um, but yeah, let's get into enemy 4 here. Uh, I have a battleship ready on us now, uh, and he is death marked 3 times, 4 times. Um, nuclear amp is running at 30, 40%, 42, 45, 50, and he is slowed and he is done. This is insane. Four, uh, this is just 3 light weapons. But with the nuke amp and with uh, the uh, death mark on the Kestrel drone, the damage output coming out of those three light weapons equals more like four medium weapons, if you ask me. It's pretty insane. And then comes on top of that, you get an extra shield for every weapon you have on that thing. And additionally, um, you restore, uh, you know, taken damage and you restore gray HP as well when you get kills. So the overall ridiculousness of the combination between this particular setup on the Loki with the Kestrel drone knows no bounds. This is just beyond ridiculous at this point, man. Seriously, this is absolutely brutal. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I I don't know. When I made the initial video about the drone and the Kestrel drone, I, I already hated the drone. The fact that it can also restore HP and gray HP on kill. I think for that we have another drone that's supposed to do it. I, in fact, we have two drones already doing that. Um, and uh, and now this drone, of course, gets it too, plus a death mark. And I was heavily against the 25% boost death mark, and I didn't even know then that you can stack it four times to 100% boost. If somebody had told me that, that rent video would have been so much worse. Uh, here, of course the guy steals the kill, yeah, right. Um, but, of course, uh, you know, it's in the game, whatever, it's there, uh, and I'm not making any decisions uh, when it comes to balancing it, because if I was doing that clearly things would be going way different but um yeah let's live with what we have and that is a drone that adds a hundred percent more damage passively heals you all the way up when you get a kill heals gray hp as well and gives you a seven percent overall damage boost just period just period throughout the match sounds perfectly balanced right pixonic yeah let's uh, thankfully we fixed that uh that overpowered drone meta that we had before um uh, yeah, I'm so glad we did that. Anyways, let's get back here. Um, we have, as you see, many Mars robots with their yellow shields, which is good because we can bypass those yellow shields with our robot. I'm waiting for him to turn around, and then I'm going to shoot into his back, give him a little back massage. Unfortunately, though, um, I wanted to drop his last stand before, you know, but he comes out uh, with his last stand. Um, and my, my HP being so low, I, he only needed one more shot for it. Uh, and the damage from the harpoon actually takes a second or so longer to take into uh, effect. He got an instant HP fix, I think, is it a glider drone or whatever? No, it's a reviver drone, I think he's got, right? And that's why he got that HP fix. So we got him here, now we're dropping that dude as well. With his, uh, Talon weapons there. Nice, there he goes. Um, also I, I played against, um, what was it? Uh, against... 
the Lynx robot too. The Lynx didn't stand a chance because the Lynx uh, is stealthed only for a short time. I can be stealthed all the time. And these weapons, look, they even go through purple shields. Look at this. Can you imagine they even go through absorber shields? Absorber type shields literally state in their uh, stats that they, they, they block any type of weapon damage. And these weapons just go even through absorber shields, which I don't understand this part. I understand that they go through... Um, uh, yellow shields, okay? Because that's their breaking thing. They, they break yellow shields, okay? Um, but th they break a shield that's unbreakable. Uh, yeah, it, it makes no sense. Um, but I guess that's more about new counters what was before. Always. Um, same as with the new weapons that will uh, that are tested on the test server that will negate unnegatable resistance effects such as the reflector uh, or the force field um, or the um, whatever everything will just be bypassed by those sniper weapons then being tested currently on a test server uh, it's uh yeah and then of course this will happen also that you will be um you know be, be quantum radar a lot i left this in here to show you because when you play the loki and now we're testing this also with sonic weapons by the way right you will have plenty of quantum radar this guy just quantum radar me the uh the the emugi just quantum radar me it will happen all the time we have because we have a stealth meta right now so given the fact that this is a stealth meta this is probably the worst time ever to choose to play the loki but the loki can still despite that being played very well when you use quant uh, phase shift um, as the active module because the phase shift allows you to live through the enemy's quantum s uh, radar <laughs> so you counter their counter and then uh, they don't see you in stealth anymore and on top of that um, with the Kestrel drone you you heal yourself so much and so effectively that um, yeah there is not really any big problems to taking damage along fighting enemies you fight enemies you take a bit of damage you kill them you get their damage back even the gray hp it's nuts so let's go in and uh, show you some more of the power of the sonic version of this particular setup because i also want to test that um the harpoon weapons are really powerful but the sonic weapons cannot be healed back the damage and that is a big 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 thing I was gonna drop the Fenrir and then I realized his 10% may as well be 500,000 HP. So, um, pff, whatever. Let's go for him. He realized everybody's shooting him now, so he exits the game. Um, and, uh, and then, yeah, boom, getting this kill. Nice. So this guy is 550 meters away. But that's not a problem for a Loki. Look how fast this little guy is sprinting. 550 meters away. And, uh, I'm already applying the death mark to him. Bing, 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 death mark, death mark, death mark. And uh, he's quantum radaring me now. Uh, so it's a good time for me to unload my stealth, anyways. He just flies up there. I'm staying underneath him so he can't target me. I'm in cloaking so he can't shoot me now because his quantum radar was used. I come out of this. I have two seconds of time before he gets uh, to target me. And whoop, getting back on HP with a battleship. Also, uh, so many players seem to be running this explosion drone now. And look how little chance this guy got. Even with the stealth, I was able to kill him. And, uh, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, the most ridiculous Loki we've ever seen in the game. Um, with the Kestrel drone. I, I don't understand. Why can the Kestrel drone shoot you while you are doing this in stealth? Uh, I believe we did have a drone similar that, that did apply certain effects or something. But when you were in stealth with your Loki, the drone would not shoot. Only when you un uh, disable. Here, he's quantum radaring me and I'm just going to activate phase shift. So, boom. There goes his quantum radar and my phase shift, counter, counter, equals zero. Like we're, we're crossing each other out in our uh, efforts to counter each other. And, um, yeah. So, no damage done for him against me despite the use of his quantum sensor. Now I'm coming up here, I'm dropping him down to uh, his last stand, or I would like to, but he's got the beak drone. Um, and uh, so therefore I'm using this cover. He can't curve the shots around the corner because they have a minimum range arc in which he is within. So he can't actually curve right now. Comes out of his stealth, the next stealth. Uh, and uh, it's insane how much stealth there is now. My goodness. Harpies, sirens, uh, Loki's... Mm, 
Raven with the stealth now, right? Ma Raven has stealth. Um, then the Beak Drone uh, doing stealth all the time everywhere with everybody. Then whatever. What? Oh yeah, the next robot coming to the life server will be the Crisis Robot. Definitive stealth all the time. I mean, Jesus Christ, you really want that freaking stealth in the game now, right? Holy moly, you could not do more stealth even if you wanted to. You could not implement more stealth into war robots even if you really really tried this is the maximum try hard stealth meta that i've ever seen this is a meta switch that's forced so hard upon you um because yo unbelievable so now we're adding some death mark to him uh although somehow it doesn't work i don't know he does not seem to take the death mark effect why hmm weird Anyways, um, we're still in the game, we, we keep healing ourselves, we keep healing ourselves per kill with the battleship and everything, and now there's titans. So, as I said before, as soon as the titans are in the game, everything changes. Your, your Loki now becomes worthless. He's no longer able to do something because you can't shoot without being shot back tip most of the time. I'm adding death mark to him though. I can add death mark him until he is like 100% uh, extra damage. You see how much damage he's taking from the other titan. Activating my weapons here. Boom, 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 boom. I, I actually hit zero. Because I stood so close to his legs that even I couldn't shoot him. Um, so, But he's still being death marked. Unfortunately, he wasn't blinded. Otherwise, I would have lo uh, unloaded my weapons on him now. But he will be blinded any second now by the enemy titan. And that means I can activate my weapons. And look at the damage we're going to do now. With... We have 84 uh, nuclear amp amplification, so that's about 70% damage output boost, plus the four death marks on this titan. That means he's got, we do like almost three times the amount of damage with just three light weapons. Look at the damage. Look at this. And this damage cannot be healed back. This is a lot of damage coming from light weapons, my friends. This is ridiculous damage coming from light weapons. I thought maybe I can drop him now, but turns out that I just don't have regenerated enough firepower to do that. So I'm face shifting. Um, and uh, it just takes forever to regenerate the firepower on those, um, on those uh, scatters uh, that we have here. So trying, 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 trying really hard to get that kill once he drops from that thing. Doing damage, boom, 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 and of course the Titan gets the kill, and then of course I'm the next kill for the Titan, so getting, again, Titans are there, this thing is worthless, completely worthless, you can't do anything anymore, when that, when those Titans are there, the, the game's over for you, so you may as well just scrap it, go into your own Titan, because that thing has lost its purpose, as soon as the Titans exist, boop, there we go. So yeah, ladies and gents, that is the most ridiculous Loki I've ever seen in the game. 10 kills free for all is easy to be won with this. Unless, of course, like many Imugis fly around with Quantum Radar. Imugis with Quantum Radar, I found, are really, really hard to take down. And the same goes for Anglers because they have their physical shields. Without the physical shields, the Anglers could be dealt with relatively well. But because they'll have those physical shields, your sonic weapons, as well as a stake or needle, they both don't do any damage to them. And, um, yeah, it's really hard to take those down. Um, but, yeah. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Catch you in the next video. And, uh, Manny signing off. Bye-bye.